Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali and in this video we will talk about arrays in C Sharp using Visual Studio. So first let's create a new project Visual C Sharp console app.net framework and let's call it as arrays. Click OK and you can see our new project arrays is launched successfully. So what is array basically? Array is basically a data structure. Array is uh, basically a list of uh, elements. You can store multiple variables of the same type in an array data structure. You can declare an array by specifying the type of its elements. So as you know that we will uh, understand arrays through examples. So first we will uh, create, I mean first we will define an array and then we will take input from a user and we will store these values inside an array and then we will display it on the screen, I mean uh, as output. So first let uh, define an array or you can say declare an array. So how we do that, first we write uh, the int, the keyword which is the integer data type so then these two braces and then we give it a name to our array for this integer which will store basically integer elements as you know that the type of this array is integer so let's call this as array equals to new int and then these two braces so in this way uh, we declare uh, an array now we have to give it the number of elements that is how much elements this array will store okay this integer data type uh, array will store as you know that this is the name of our array so we will uh, give it any i mean how much elements you want so you can write five seven eight i mean how much whatever the number of elements you want so i will write here five okay so now the next thing is to uh, get uh, elements from the user five values from the user and store it inside this uh, uh, this array or this integer data type array which will store integer values so for that uh, we will use for loop and here we can say int i equals to zero and since we have uh, five elements so we can say i less than five i plus plus and now inside this for loop and then we are going to pass the index which is i and for the first time it will be 0 and it should be equals to console dot read line so we are now going to take input from the user so we can write it like that and as you can see that uh, it shows us an error because as you know that uh, we are basically uh, this uh, this will take the input as a string data type and we have declared the array with the integer data type okay as we are using the integer data type array so we have to uh, convert that input string to an integer first let cut this code control x and then we can say int dot parse and put two braces here and inside this braces paste that console dot read line and this okay so you can see that the error is gone successfully and now we are converting the input which we are getting as a string and we are converting back to the integer and we are storing that integer value uh, at the index which is zero when the loop execute for the first time okay so the zeroth index will store the first z uh, integer value which we are getting from the user and once we uh, get the input then we have to display it on screen so for that we can simply write console dot write line and two braces and inside it we can say array and we are going to display the values using their indexes okay so let's uh, display a print right here i mean the any message so that we can see the output proper output so for that we will say uh, let's say you entered equals to okay this is basically a message 
and this concatenation sign which is plus okay now let's control press control f5 and here now let's press uh, 5 4 and you can see it says u enter 4 now let's press 5 u enter 5 let press 12 and you can see that okay 89 you enter 89 so this will uh, this is all about the integer uh, data type array now what uh, if we are uh, if we um, use a string uh, data type array so we can simply write here string array equals to new string and it should uh, store five elements of string data type i, I equals to zero i mean the same it will uh, get five values five elements from user now remove this n dot parse because now all the values are of string data type okay so now console dot write i mean the remaining will be the same okay so now let's press control f5 and let's run this so first i will write a lee since it is a string data type array and now let's check it press enter and you can see you enter ali and then let's write mohammed ali and it says you enter Mohammed Ali and let's enter Omar and it says you enter Omar and now let's enter Osman and it says you enter Osman and now let's enter Abu Bakr and you can see that it says you enter Abu Bakr and one two three four five and it shows us five values uh, depend upon the array size which is five okay so in this video tutorial we have learned successfully about the arrays how to uh, declare an array and how we can take input from a user and we can then store it inside an array using loop and how we can display it back on the output so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.